This is Jedi General Pong Krail. I welcome you to the Voice of the Republic podcast. Listen to this podcast. That is in order. Your reputation precedes you, General. The reputation of a great new podcast. Hello and welcome to the Voice of the Republic podcast. This is Bonnie Peace, Baru from Star Wars. Time to see who's smart enough to join the hunt. The Hunt for the Voice of the Republic podcast. As a closely can say, you're listening to the Voice of the Republic podcast. I am your host, Daniel Schofield, and joining me is Rari Williamson. Hello. Ah, uh, so our first episode of 2013. Way to state the obvious. Uh, I, you know, I always state the obvious. Ah, oh, so it's been a fun year so far, and now it's time to kick off. And you like to say, so I'm saying it's been a fun year so far. Four days in. <laughs> oh, why not? There's been there's, be, there's um, been no skill in college, so of course it's been fun. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, so I suppose let's get introducing the guests then. So off you go, Harry. Okay, first off, Justin from Saturday Night Talk Show. And Justin, I just have one question for you. Yes. It's called the Saturday Night Talk Show, so why do I hear you to get Daniel to record at 8 a.m.? No, that was a misunderstanding. <laughs> so confused with the time zones. Yeah. I know, but certainly I just have to rip you a bit back of my night. You only got a little No, he so. tried to get me to record at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stop the accusations. And also joining us with this... I had this name, so I have to pronounce it. Okay, Gervais Coffee. Is that how you say it? Gervais Coffee. Gervais. Gervais Coffee. Jervey. Yes. <laughs> okay. Jervey <laughs> Coffee, who played Jedi the Coffee of an in Revenge of the Sith. So, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, Daniel wanted to take it away. <laughs> but I always. Do you always want to, or do you always have to? <laughs> We well, you know what? I'm gonna change it about. I'm not sure why you don't. It's, it's our first. It's our first episode of the year. I'm gonna change it about. Rari, take it away. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that kind of makes sense. As Daniel does have any questions for a guest, so Jervey, I have a few questions for you. Yeah. How did yeah. you? How did you get the role of Rana, and what was your reaction when you got the role? Character. Well, look, I think I was much younger when I was, uh, you know, uh, watching Star Wars. And uh, oh, since I haven't, uh, but I got two kids, you know, and the kids been watching and they know about everything more than I do. So I was called by my agent to, to uh, uh, you know, to take part of, uh, as a extra. That's how it started. And uh, yeah, eventually got there. But uh, there were funny things, funny things along the way, you know. Uh, as you know now, I am a, a person. And I think a couple of days before I was performing in uh, Sydney's, uh, you know, jazz uh, venue, and I ran into Samuel Jackson. <laughs> that was really <laughs> funny. I had no idea that actually. Uh, you know, it was a film. It was shooting as well. It was filming at the uh, Fox Studios. Yeah, it was a bit of a fun. You know, I invited him on stage, and you know, it was quite you know fun, and uh, everybody was just going off. You know, <laughs> yeah. having a superstar in the house that was kind of a bit of a fun. Yeah, and uh, then um, the two days later, I was uh, you know on set. Yeah. This is how it happened. That's really cool. Yeah, just bumping into Samuel L. Jackson randomly like that. Yeah, um, yeah. It was fun. I had no idea he was here for, for the shoot anyway. Yeah, that's cool. 
so it was very funny. And um, my second question, have you ever seen the, the, the figure that was used by Hasbro? Yes, I have seen some of those figures. I mean, uh, there are a lot of fans that always send me a lot of requests for autograph. I mean, I learn a lot from uh, those fans because I didn't realize what's going on and they just send me the stuff. But, uh, yeah, I might uh, admit, uh, you know, <laughs> as you know the whole story about my character, uh, you know, it's a bit of a, bit of a bitter, you know, twist. Because, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I think uh, uh, the producer of this. Uh, I, I didn't know that they would push my character to this level, but they did it. Yes, it's great for everybody to send me a message all over the world, and uh, you know, autograph and all that sort of thing. But uh, I think uh, you know, in terms of uh, you know. People need to get paid for the raw for what they do properly. I think uh, my uh, my character went beyond what I was uh, asked uh, to do. You know, I was an extra, and that what they paid for. But uh, in the end, they pushed my character very and uh, very further in terms of, uh, and that uh, leave a bit of a bitter taste. You know, but this is another level. <laughs> yeah, because like yeah. um, and as to a question from Facebook that I'll get to later, like um, they explored um, Vegas's character um a lot more in what are comic books or uh, novels or something. I can't remember which it is, but like basically in the expanded universe, um, he was explored a lot more than just an extra. Yeah, exactly. This is the whole thing that frustrates me every day. Every day. Seriously. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I haven't read. Sorry. But where does the name of the K-O-A-A-I comes from? Yes, the name, obviously. So, so why? Why they would actually uh, do something like that without being in contact with me, without actually, you know, with a bit of a courtesy at least, you know? So I have a personal out there and you got paid uh, barely $200 to do this uh, thing. And uh, yes, it's great for everyone to know you and all that sort of thing, but at the end of the day, you know, we are in a society where, you know, this, this kind of thing should look after everyone, you know? Uh, I really, one day, would love, you know, to have a chat with your producer, to, you know? To, to figure out what went on and uh, why. You know, why? I'm sure the producer is honest enough and very generous person enough to be able to target uh, this thing because Kofi Arana has become a significant character in that uh, whole saga. So, you know, it is so unfair and so... You know, for, for, for all the lovers of Star Wars around the world who continue to send me messages of requests and all that sort of thing. You know, I hope that uh, one, through you guys and through other people, they can hear about this and, you know, try to be in contact and uh, resolve this matter because it is not fair. And, um, my next question is, have you ever attended any Star Wars conventions, or conventions in general? No. No, because I suppose that they have a, that they want it, uh, my figure and everything, and my figure, it is me, <laughs> you know? It is exactly me, you know? It is... Uh, but I don't know, people are always trying to get away with what they can get away, you know? Uh, but at the end of the day, people are blind. I am not blind, you know? I can see, I can hear, I can, you know? So, you know, I hope that, 
because it, it grows, it's growing. People are still talking about it. It's not like uh, Star Wars is finished. People always write. If you have the podcast on, I can show you one of those latest uh, uh, you know, autograph requests that I received yesterday in my post box. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Daniel, do you want to read the question from Facebook? Sure, yeah. Um, okay. um, so, the question from Facebook is from Daniel Georgiev, and he asks, have you read the comic, this, have you read the comic Star Wars Pug that features your character? If so, do you like the direction taken with your character in it? No, I haven't read the comic. I haven't read it, and I'm sure if my kids were here, they would tell me more about it. You know, I'm very busy. I do a lot of stuff, uh, writing my music, and also my son who is also, you know, a musical prodigy that I take care of as well. So I'm uh, pretty busy with a lot of things, and uh, busy also with, uh, you know, in the film industry, you know, trying to, you know, <laughs> understand very well this film industry too. So. Yeah, I would love to read it eventually. Since you're talking about it, I will ask my son when he get back from holiday if he if he has it. I would love to read it. So, um, yeah, so that's all Facebook questions, I think. Yeah. And is there anything you'd like to ask him, Justin? No, I'm good. You've been pretty quiet there. <laughs> <laughs> And any other questions you'd like to pop in, Justin? Uh, Rari, I mean. No, I'm okay. So, you guys, can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice to know your opinion about uh, this Kofi Annan character. Uh, would you guys think I am out of line? Uh, what do you think? Well, I would um, definitely agree. Um, now, if they're going to, like, explore his character in more detail like they did in the Expanded Universe, or all the novels and um, books and the comic especially that was mentioned, Star Wars Purge, um, in which he kind of shows seeds of the dark side, I think, as well, in his character. I think it's uh, after Revenge of the Sith or something. Um, I definitely think, you know, you should at least have um, been given notice informed of it at least at the very least anyway to be honest yes yes no i think i thought so too but um this is a world that uh, it's sad that the world uh, you know tend to be a world of exploitation and at the end of the day you know the riches get the richer and the poor get poorer and this is how people look at things and i think it is really sad for something like like uh, Star Wars, which is like, uh, you know, something that every kid, everyone around the world, they dream of and they, uh, you know, they love and all that sort of thing. But to have this kind of darkness in the background, I think it's a bit sad. So, yeah. But look, I hope someday I get to speak uh, with the producer about it and to point for justice still to be served. You know, but I'm glad that we can have this small podcast and hopefully many more to come so that who need to hear will hear what is happening with the character. Arana. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Just sad that things like that happen nowadays. <laughs> oh, so I think that's all the questions we had for you tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. If there are more information, uh, you can always join me on Skype and, uh, you know, it will be good to, you know, for... I am here, I'm available to continue signing the autograph for all the love of Star Wars and, uh, you know, yeah, they know where to join me and how to contact me, either through you or through how they always get to contact
contact me. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. people contact yeah. after you. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. It's good to have you on. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's good to have you on. And maybe speak to you again. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. He hung up right at the right moment. Okay. <laughs> just before you. Okay, I just. But oh my god! Oh my god! And his laugh. Oh my god! God, um, his laugh was so evil. He would really sue an evil guy for my stop motion. I just have to say, and that's no offense meant for me. It's such a great laugh. Really. What, what can get past me is the constant repeatness of you know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's understandable. Well, yeah. It's a bit of because it's um, I mean, two hundred dollars for playing an action. Yeah. Like a parent. Um, you know, I I like research um, people and uh, even so that celebrities most of all nowadays. And um, you know, lots of people actually my camera stick for you know the amount of money he chooses charges for autographs. You know, you know more charges like one hundred and fifty dollars at conventions like celebration and all. But at the same time, for how many you got to take into consideration? You know, yeah. I have the three main, the three original two. He main cast like he's the only kids apparently. I'm not too sure. Um, Kerry or Harrison have kids, but Hamill does. I know that for sure. And so like maybe he uses the money from conventions like um raises kids basically and pay for them. You know? That'd be understandable for why he charges so much. To be honest. Yeah. Just as being very quiet. Oh no, I'm just, I'm just waiting for it for a minute, it's my time. <laughs> I, was, I was a bit too, well, it's good having, it was good having you on, Justin, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're Daniel, gonna kick me already. Seriously, Daniel, for God's sake, you really need to stop going, it's good, it's good, good to have you on, it's been fun having you on. Seriously, just say, it's been good having you on the podcast, that doesn't sound creepy. <laughs> you just have to make everything sound creepy. No, I don't. You do that by wording so badly. It's a podcast whenever you say that. Oh, God. I do also have to say, though, Gervais is definitely one of the more interesting accents on this podcast as well. But all I've got to say is welcome to Scotland. (laughs) What the hell? You kind of picked a worse time to use that, could you? Oh, and Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Welcome to Scotland. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I'm gonna head over there and so, meet Daniel. So, tomorrow we have. No, nah, he's actually in England, just. Ah, nice. Well, where he is, I'm just gonna find him. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide and Come run on. up to him, give him a big, great hug. <laughs> just, Hi, Daniel. <laughs> just go onto his Facebook and you'll find where he lives. <laughs> right, time, time to run to Facebook to edit some stuff. <laughs> lives in China. <laughs> he lives. He lives in Essex, people. <laughs> no, you, oh no, you didn't. No. Oh. I don't actually think that is where you live anyway. I better grab my shovel then, because I'm China. <laughs> the uh, great escape. <laughs> so, tomorrow we've got our 100th episode of the Clone Wars. Yeah. With, hopefully, missing. hopefully an epic. Dude, what season 5 episode hasn't been epic? Um, the title question don't answer, they've all been epic. Well, I could, you know, I could easily just. My time is so fast, you idiot! Yeah, yes, I just broke up the whole street. (laughs) (laughs) 
I just big C at the end. I think I was fighting the cat. <laughs> oh god, let's, let's, let's not start talking about cats. Have, yeah, have enough yeah. have enough talking about cats with Justin. <laughs> kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. What, what time is it? Oh, oh my. What time is it? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the time, so this is appropriate to say it. Every time Justin talks about Kitty, somehow it ends up with pussy. <laughs> I like this cat. Seriously, Daniel, why would you bring that up? <laughs> Pussy cats me on the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Daniel, that's a clone wars. Or a D clone wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how did this happen from how seriously, how did we change topic from you saying rhetorical question you idiot to that topic? Yeah. Okay, the clone wars go. There you go, we're happy, we're getting clone commando, yay, woof, big woof, yeah, yay, but, commandos. But yeah, there's still controversy about Gregor, even though we're getting it. Well, again, any commandos in the Clone Wars, new or not, would cause controversy, because of canon Travis as well. Well, I've even heard that, oh, technically he's a commando, but the only armor he could find on the planet was commando. Yeah, well, that was my fee, but I actually think based on um, the second PG tip, I might um, have been mistaken. The stupid German descriptions. <laughs> and I'm not saying German people, I'm just saying Google Translate might have translated German a bit badly. <laughs> yeah, um, so, what you, um, so what do you think, Jerry, about the episode what do you think will be? Yeah, I think... I think it'll be really good. I think we're in for a tree with the last two episodes. A tree? Yeah. No, I thought, uh, for a second I thought you said a tree and then it didn't sound right, so I thought you said a tree, but you did. What's a tree got to be? No, I said... I said tree. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong? And moving on. <laughs> and what do you think, Justin? Well, what kind of a name is tree? That's almost as bad as stop calling something. What do, you, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Right. Hey there, soap. Right, what the hell is the name of this you day? I don't matter like you, past selection. What do you think about the next episode, um, Justin, or tomorrow's episode? Um, it's, it looks like it's going to be really interesting. Are we, um, now I haven't looked into it too much, but... From the preview that I saw, are we supposed to be seeing another clone deserter or something oh, like that? Oh my god. No, no, he, but he, this is my um, theory, and so for kissing people, it won't be a first time. My, what, we can tell he got fucked in the head and lost his memory. <laughs> That's usually how people lose their memories, people, they got fucked on the head, or even fucked on the head, and yeah. Are you telling me that you've not heard this... about Gregor until, like, the last few days? Well, this this seems like it's going to be interesting because, I mean, all these guys are, are stranded on this, whatever, this dwarf planet or dwarf star that they're on right now, and they just happen to come across this clone. Yeah, I think and, I made a theory about that to you, Daniel, a bit ago. Yeah. Do you remember what that theory was? Yeah, a, a bit just in, in like, listen to it and just trying to copy it in his own words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? 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 What you just heard? Uh, and expect you to watch that tomorrow. Then we have to discuss it tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah two nights in a row, sort of thing. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, so yeah, so it's gonna be a funny. Episode. Are we? Uh, are we going to discuss that podcast on here as well? No. No. <laughs> That's simple. And um, so yeah, so another kind of controversy I'd say is the cancellation of the droid factory line. Not completely official, but pretty much. Oh, pr- pretty much. They, they wouldn't say they ca- they're cancelling it, and then well, it wouldn't be a first, but 
Yeah, from what I've heard, they're like canceling it, but they might bring a few other figures into other cases tournaments and other lines or something. What was the point of showing? You know, was... What was the point of showing us the Droid Factory line and then going and canceling it? To be honest, I'd say Disney was some is some involved in the cancellation. Of the I'm almost betting that's the case. I reckon Disney's going to bring. I reckon Disney's going to bring us problems. Yeah. I mean, I was one of the few like suspected that in the beginning, and like. Lots of people didn't agree with me for the way. I hope, well, I don't think they'll bring us problems with the movies and shit. I think they'll do a good job in the sequels for the idiots. The figures that I'm worried they'll screw up. <laughs> Not worried, it's like, I'm, I'm just losing interest in Hasbro gradually. Yes, yeah. it is, anyway. They didn't go bad, they definitely had a big run. Right out of Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he just, he just, he just couldn't think last night, it was crazy. Yeah, I just saw his comments, and just like, okay, I think he's a bit mad. <laughs> uh, what, what, what do you think about this, Justin? Uh, what were we talking about now? What were you doing, talking to your cat or something? Um, we're, talking, we're, talking, <laughs> we're talking about the cancellation of the droid factory yeah. line. Uh, what droid factory? The cargo that has this droid factory. It was destroyed in weapons factory and now there's a campaign to bring it back, but the campaign got stopped. Oh, really? <laughs> I heard nothing about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Justin, where have, you been, where have you been for the last so many months in Star Wars World? Oh, I've been busy. That's, that's so busy. Where are we usually? Yeah, just. And that's why you were available five minutes before yeah. you were meant to start for the podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. so, well, fill me in here. I mean, are they trying to bring this factory? I forget. No, they, they, they yeah. just can't. They, they, <laughs> no, that was a the has, the Hasbro, No, the Hasbro, um, the Hasbro line of the droid factory was announced as was it Celebration 6, if I'm correct. And um, then they've come out a couple of yesterday or the day before that they're just cancelling it like that. Oh, really? So basically, an entire line that was. Because I mean, that was supposed to be, if I'm correct, that was, wasn't that I'm substituting a legacy collection for a bit. Yeah, it was good. Good place. Yeah, now they've just cancelled Well, that. anything about Star Wars that is cancelled, I pretty much always say, that sucks! Because, yeah, that's your, that's, in my opinion, nothing. For, that's your that's, nothing about Star Wars should be canceled. That's your resolution to everything usually that sucks. But yeah, definitely should not be cancelled. But hey, what can you do about it? Can't you can't really. Blackmail has burned their factories. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's been your plan. That's, that's been your plan for a bit to go and destroy and take over Hasbro. <laughs> No, I don't want to take it over if I've already destroyed it. Rebuild it and call it something else. That would take too much time. Yeah, which you haven't got. But you, you, can, you can ask Justin to help you. He's got all the time in the world. <laughs> what? No, he's what am I going to help with? He can do it all for me. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Nothing. What are you getting me into, okay, Daniel? Justin, I'll explain to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Um, so more, yeah. more work. And also, we've heard that um, George Lucas is obviously getting engaged, which you didn't believe. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, he's getting, he's gotten engaged to Daniel FB1. <laughs> yeah. You just had. Whoa! You had, you had, <laughs> Congratulations, Daniel! I shake warmly by the hand. <laughs> you had to say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. You brought it on yourself. Getting, um, getting engaged at 68. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 that was a big wow factor for me as well. And the specialist is um, the one he's engaged to at 43 as well, so the 25 year difference. And mm -hmm. can I actually be honest with both of you? I thought Lucas was at the very least in his 70s. 
Yeah, I was gonna be that tacky what I thought until I read the article yesterday. I was like, oh, he's 68, he's not 78. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're gonna see a, a lot more from, from, you know, George Lucas's average life now since he's given Star Wars to Disney. Um, I mean, I mean, we can already say right now he's getting aged, so, you know, yeah. you never know what else is going to come down the road, you know? Yeah, it was probably, um, like, planning um, for the proposal to, uh, like, went around the time when he decided to sell mm-hmm. Star Wars. Mm-hmm. It was, like, he was probably planning it all for a while. Did you see that? And that, for that, yeah, and for that lucky guy, his plan has actually worked. <laughs> did you did you see on Facebook Christy was like saying, "Oh, congratulations, Zach! You can invite me to the wedding as well." <laughs> um, no, Lucas should just come out and say, "Everyone's been invited." <laughs> yeah, just just do it in this like big massive arena and just like have a limited amount of tickets. It'd just be like a fight to get tickets. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'd probably have to punch both of you out of the way to get my tickets. <laughs> There's going to be so much lightsaber duels. <laughs> I think Everybody's you made so fighting. many. <laughs> and before you know it, all the tickets that were bought, when everybody's dueling, they're just going to accidentally drop them into the Mostafarian River. So. There goes 45,000 tickets. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> We're <laughs> out by Mustafar. Yeah, so let's see. Um, so, um, the next part of the podcast is if Justin doesn't get involved. Unfortunately. Um, we'll be talking about. Justin, you're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talk- Am I? We'll be talking about um, our highlights from 2012 and our best moments. Um, yes. So Justin, you're dismissed. <laughs> okay. You can you can you can, <laughs> you can just sit in the dark and listen until we finish. Um. <laughs> so what do you think's been? Oh damn! I broke. What do you think's been bi- oh. the biggest highlight of last year? Getting Sam Witwer and Ashley Eckstein confirmed for the podcast, definitely. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely one of the biggest highlights, getting them. Well, it's easily the biggest, oh, yeah. but yeah, it's more. Like, I mean, we've had some really good episodes as well. I mean, which would you say are your favourite episodes we've done? It was a lot of fun. Chris Monk's episode was fun. Um, yeah. Like, he's still to date the only guest who stayed, like, longer than the... I mean, I thought he was going to stay for the whole thing at one point. Yeah, like you were ready to fall asleep even. <laughs> uh, um, and then, um, well, obviously when we had the first episode of Dave Benoit, that was done. Especially when Dave Benoit started slicing off clones in a girl voice, that was funny. Yeah, that was pretty hilarious. They had been paid to... I think, in fact, they're not being paid at all. <laughs> and my current impression is, is really bad, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've heard worse, if I'm honest. Uh, oh my god, Chris Seekel, as we, you mentioned a bit ago, he once sent me um, his take on a Krell voice. Oh my god, I was in stitches and horribly prison about it. Sorry, this is if you're listening, but <laughs> that was just so laughable. Yeah. I was, it, it wasn't you know, the worst I've heard, but it was funny. Um, second episode, that was the one with Chris Eggerly. That, that was a decent one. Yeah, we um, ended up I won't say it was one of the best. He ended up making fun of my accent. <laughs> that was the highlight of that episode, no offence. Mm, somebody somebody and, um, told him I was Scottish. <laughs> yeah, me, obviously. Um... Third episode, that was one of Barney. That was that was okay. We had a few problems though, so obviously it wasn't our best one. Um, one of my favourites though would have to be the one we had with um Jen and Georgina. That was a brilliant yeah, episode. That was, that was Asani was on that one as well. Yeah, that was 
I was at the very least in our top three episodes still, so mm-hmm. that's insane. Sure. And then they yeah. just randomly went off in a girl chat. Yeah. Like, one, when Georgina did the call, they just really bonded and started talking girl stuff. I'll see on... I'm surprised they didn't start talking about makeup or nail polish or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Even worse if it'd be camera. Maybe we should. Even worse if it'd be camera. Yeah. They might be like, "Oh, I love your dress." What was that? What did you say, Daniel? Okay. Um, oh, another good episode. The one with John Chapman and Dan Grievous. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, that that one was brilliant. Yeah, especially at the end when Dan was trying to encourage me to do drunk reviews. Oh god, that had, me, that had us all in stitches. Yeah, yeah. Kind of um, yeah definitely. Um, yeah, trying to think of some of the others. We had Claire like, Grant on last week. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, with the one we had with Ryan and Ben Diskin. That was, yeah. that was hilarious. Like, just before we could say talking to Ben, Ben would say, I remember Ben saying to Brian, Hey, Brian, did you suddenly go through puberty or I thought you looked like nine years old? <laughs> that was so funny. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was really funny. Mm-hmm. And then when uh, me and Ben were like, um, like, talking about the fact that I sound like I'm at the ocean all the time, and the way he said I must be in better shape then, <laughs> that was a mess. Because <laughs> I'm really not. Definitely funny. So, I was. Um, well, I'm to think of we had um, we had oh what's the, the one that did the Viking Hunter? Well, well, there could be a lot of um, those. Oh, 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 Claire Grant, brilliant episode. You know the la- last week's yeah. one with Claire Grant. That was a brilliant episode. I can't wait to see it. Um, um, I'm trying to think what the name of that Bounty Hunter was then. Uh, let me think. Uh, oh, there was also. Uh, I don't see if they say this was maybe our weakest one, and it's down to me, but I think the one with the Garnack voice actor was a bit. That's weird. it, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, that, I would have to actually admit that was my fault, and I'm actually going to admit something that I haven't t- told anyone on the podcast yet. Like, the reason I was, like, distracted and out of form in that podcast was, like, so was Fan Tommy, a fellow YouTuber. Um, and <laughs> challenged me to a duel on a Yu-Gi-Oh website. <laughs> so, like, as the podcast was being recorded, I was just, like, dueling it there. Uh-huh. I was like, uh, this card or that card, and it was actually... That's why I was so distracted on that episode. It, it was funny shits and giggles, though. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was... That episode with Zach was the... Big one, I think. Yeah. Um, Dave Fanoi was the first, then Chris, then Bonnie. So who did we have on the fourth episode? Oh, um, I think Pam Rose might have been the fourth oh, or yeah. sixth one. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. I wouldn't say I was one of their best episodes, though. Oh, was um, it wasn't our worst, but it wasn't our best. It wasn't our worst, it wasn't our best, though. It was, in the, it was good. Wasn't yeah, that, it was an, an average episode, put it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'll try to think of another one. Um, really, right now, I'm thinking of the three main guests we haven't got yet, and the big name guests I'm trying to get currently. Um, uh, um, let me think. I'm pretty sure we're missing a few episodes. Um, we've tried to have it. For Alan Flynn on the podcast a few times and he hasn't been able to make it. The first time, the first, the first time it was my fault, the second time he couldn't make it. The third time. Yeah, I didn't even know until I reminded him like a week, a few days before. And, oh, oh no, I'm actually thinking of Ben's episode, but remember the way I two guests had to cancel with me in the same week and last minute I asked Ben oh, yeah. and he thought I was like, I messaged them on Thursday, so. He read it on Friday, thinking I was talking about Saturday. I was like, no, no, I said that yesterday. I was talking about tonight. And he was like, oh, when's it start? And I was like, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
JP, that's actually a goddamn this good on the podcast. Like, he'd already been confirmed to come on before, but that was nice. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Kind of think about it. We have had two guests on a few episodes before. Um, well, there was the one with you as well. We had Sonny Shoppy on that one as well. Yeah. We had two guests on another one. Um, I'm actually trying to think again. Oh, rain. Stop. Start working. But, like, I think it's really cool that for a podcast that's only just started that we're nearing 50 different cast guests um, confirmed for the podcast. I mean, that's definitely a good start. I'm not being biased for it to of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean... The, and like Daniel, I even promised like I won the name to the fiftieth until I made sure I had that it was a fairly big name, really big name. If I get a minor one at forty nine and get another minor one confirming, I'll be like, No, I'm not announcing you until after the fiftieth <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh I wish I could check Facebook who else we'd recorded with. I'm afraid someone like message me. Oh god, the risk I'm gonna take. <laughs> Okay, back to Facebook, Voice of the Republic. Um, oh, yeah, Toby. Yeah, we recorded with him as well. That was a good episode. Yeah, that was, that was definitely a good episode. Oh, yeah, I was just about to say, who did we have as a normal guest on that one? We actually didn't. That was our first episode of Fair, I guess. But he's there to yeah. the end or something. Yeah. yeah, I think he actually did stay all the way through something. Or at least, uh, well, then until 10 minutes ago, then we just started talking random stuff. Um, yeah, as Chris Monk, um, oh yeah, we recorded an episode with the rebel technician, Stephanie English. Oh, yeah. And we recorded with Anthony Forrest as well. Those were a couple of good episodes, but I barely remember them. Yeah, then, then um, you mentioned it, I couldn't even remember that. <laughs> Uh, I can't honestly for the life of me even remember who we had as fan guests in those episodes. <laughs> I think we've had to um, reuse... Um, oh! That was the episode where one of our get- fan guests had to come to us, the one with Anthony first, and then we went. I went and asked David Vermillion to fill in. I think we also had two guests on that, cast guests on that one as well. Yeah, we've had Vermillion on a couple of times. Yeah. Um, uh, we had G- Gervais, obviously, today. Um, oh, yeah, it was Charles Voss as well. Oh, yeah. You know, the one man strategy. The one that neither me or the other guest that was on it ever heard of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went to it as well. And especially when I said the you-know-what thing. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I don't even want to actually think that. I think that's actually all the people we've recorded. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Next week we've got, we're back to original trilogy actors, of course. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Um, and yeah, of course, we've still got uh, our big name members to get on. Like, I'm actually, like, whenever, like, the dates for the mall episodes, um, get announced for season 5 I'm just going to ask Sam Whitmer if he can make an episode of the podcast any day after um, one or more episodes because that would definitely be the best time to have him on the podcast yeah definitely yeah um, though I'm sure there'll be a big fight I'm sure there'll be a big fight of people wanting to come on that show <laughs> dude there's been 5 or 6 people who asked me on the day let alone after Actually, not me after that day if they could come on. Uh, go check my email and I'll laugh if I've got a reply. Oh well. No, I don't want to move my Skype on. Yeah. Anyway, that, that seems a bit high lights. Yeah, definitely looking forward to getting Ashley and Sam and Beth on the podcast. Daniel, sorry, yeah, evil. Sorry, I'm just plugging it in. No comments. Uh, yes, I know what you're probably thinking there. 
No, I'm not thinking that right now. I'm saying that. <laughs> um, yeah, we've definitely got a lot of past guests still to come to the podcast. So it's worth it anyway. Yeah, I mean, what we've only had about 19, 18 so far. We've had. Um. Yeah, I'd say so. And yet we've got like 48 people booked. Yeah, it's still to come. This this is going to be a fun year, that's for sure. Still the summer, maybe longer. Uh, depends if I do any more two guests per episode again. <laughs> that was always fun episodes though. And the let's let's episode. just see what 2013 holds for us. So I think we've covered that pretty much. Yeah. And we've probably bored, we've probably bored Justin's brains out by now. But yeah. No, I'm good. I'm just listening. Kevin. You're always having fun. So, so you, want, you want to start wrapping things up? Um, yeah, let me just get some sellotape and some paper and I'll start wrapping up. I mean, that, just, that, is, that is just scabby on you, but I was going to make a joke that you should start wrapping my birthday presents and then you don't do that. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh, what can I say? What can... It's only 20, but no, it's still actually 26 days away. You've got 26 days, Daniel. Don't worry, it'll be done by then. Sure. I'll just send it on the like twenty fifth day. But yeah. Just don't just don't let it be an autographed headshot of you with a signet few personal signatures on that. I don't want that. I know I was, I was gonna get you I was gonna get a Captain Rex figure. Oh no. I've got too many as it is. Phase one has to <laughs> I've got both, enough of them though, but I don't want need any more crafts in the next Uh, so, I suppose we should start wrapping this up then. You don't say. <laughs> so, make sure to check out our YouTube channels. Mine is www.youtube.com slash user slash 14 miss. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Are we going to start this again? Uh, I don't think we've said it before, are we messing go on? You said the same like, week last week and the same week before. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no. Okay, I've got a different one then. Oh, God. Do I dare say it? <laughs> <laughs> go on, Steph. Uh, make sure to check out our YouTube channels. Mine is www.youtube.com slash user slash. Hey, boy. <laughs> Rise is www.youtube.com slash user slash separatist destroyers. Check out, um... <laughs> Check out check out Ben and Justin's other podcast, which is w uh, www.facebook.com slash pages slash that. Oh, I love this podcast. <laughs> Have you finished? Oh, good one, Rory. Okay. Thank you. I'll do that again then. <laughs> Check out Nine and Justin's podcast at www.facebook.com slash pages slash the Saturday Night Talk Show. Nick it up podcast. <laughs> I think I think from now on I'm just gonna pre record this. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'll avoid all <laughs> And also check out Jeremy's website at www.gervaiscoffee.com. So, you are hopeless of names, Daniel. That's my... That's me. What can you do about it? I, I'm just here drinking... Anything if I can pound some sense into you. I'm just, I'm just here drinking beer and doing a podcast every Friday. Hello, people. I'm so cool. I drink beer. <laughs> oh, God. So... May the wolf, may the wolf be with you, Star Wars fans. You were a bit ambitious there, weren't you? Not really, no. I'm not, ambitious, not ambitious enough. I'm going to phrase that for you, so from me, where are we at? Hey, the Wolf be with you from the Voice of the Republic podcast. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>
What the hell is good bay? <laughs> bay, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, I think we'll just end it here, too. You know. But no, I'm just gonna bring it to from me, just the hand driving me the force to start with. Hey, don't wolf. Force. Wolf. Force. Wolf. Force. The force will be with you. Wolf. Always. Force. Oh, we'll oh. With you. Always. I'm just, I'm just gonna say goodnight because Justin ruined it. <laughs> <laughs>